after you have configured the Fury uh, Launchpad log on screen and the Fury Launchpad log off screen, the next step that you would need to do is to create the Fury administrator role and the Fury uh, end user role. Uh, the roles, you know, these are the roles that uh, uh, Fury administrators would need to create catalogs or groups, basically to configure your uh, uh, tiles in the Fury designer and then the end user role will give authorizations to user uh, basically to launch and uh, the Fury launchpad and work, work with the tiles assigned to them. So there are uh, some um, minimum you know uh, authorizations that need to be given to these two types of users and those authorizations include the five mandatory O data services that we for Fury that we had activated uh, earlier. Okay, so let us now check uh, how do we create uh, the Fury uh, administrator role. So go to uh, transaction PFCG. Now what SAP is uh, does is you know it gives you uh, standard. Uh, roles for administration okay so let's say we search for those and uh, search for slash UI slash, no SAP asterisk UI asterisk admin asterisk and then if you search for it you'll find different versions of uh, NetWeaver version the administration role from different NetWeaver versions okay and if you see 700, 702, 731 and 750, let's take a look at these roles, okay? So these roles, if you see, each one of them will be different, okay? They will have uh, different entries in it, okay? So for example, this is, this is needed because administrators can launch into the Fury Launchpad Designer uh, using the FLPD CONF transaction where they can configure the tiles for cross client okay if they can launch into fury launchpad designer with this flpd underscore cust transaction and configure the tiles which are client specific okay and then if you look at o data services it it has iwsv components to it right so you it doesn't have right now the five see these are the five o data services that we uh, five, six actually. And this one is one, two, three, four, and five. These are the five auditor services that we reactivated, right? So we need to include the activated version of uh, the auditor services in the administrator role. So, so it because it has all the five auditor services and uh, some of the other uh, transaction codes. Uh, for gateway activation or you know, the logs, you can now go and check. Okay, so you need to include uh, the activated O data services entries into this. Okay, so let's go and take the look of some the other rule. 702. Okay, and if you take a look at this, this role, see it is not different. Right, it doesn't have what you saw in the earlier role. Okay, so this role gives some some additional access, right? Now, if you go to uh, what is that? There are two more roles, right? The admin roles. Seven thirty one. Okay, let's take a look at seven thirty one. And seven thirty one gives you some other access, right? It does not give you the same access that you have the first one. So let's take a look at uh, the the fourth administrator role that the SAP delivers, which is uh, 750. Okay, so take a look at this role, then you will find something else. So, for an administrator role, the main role that you have is this, the first role that we saw, okay? 
which contains all those five O data services, right? The main ones um, that are needed, and plus it also has the transaction codes for launching the launchpad designer. So you can make a copy of this role and then add your own uh, the, those five custom registered uh, activated OData services into this the copied role. But the best practice is because each of those administrator roles contained something that are that the administrators would need, Fury administrators would need. The good the best practice would be to combine those roles into uh, one customized role. So let's go and create a customized role which will have the authorizations pulled from the standard roles and then we can add our own uh, those five registered OData services into the role. So let's go and create a role called Fury Fury, Fury admin, okay, x colon Fury admin, click the role and say give a description Fury administrator. Now the idea here is we need, we want to combine the authorization authorizations from those five roles, right, the, the four roles that we saw that SAP delivers. So switch to the menu tab and then go from to menus from menus and select from another role and say local. And let's say you search for the roles now. Okay, pick the first one. And you select everything that you have in that particular role and say add. So it's added. Now go and do the same thing for this next role. Okay, so again search. So these, this custom role that we are creating, okay, you assign it to Fury administrators, meaning the people who are going to configure the apps for you, the tiles for you. Now let's add the third one. Okay, from another role, in from the menus, from another role, local, and then you say SAP underscore UI underscore admin underscore seven three zero maybe so let's go and search what the role name is SAP okay and then say seven thirty one select all So if you see every this all the three rows that we have picked so far has an folder called authorization default. So after we have completed our role building, we'll see how to merge these folders into one. Now let's go for the fourth fourth role from another door, another role local and uh, search for the role if you like or if you know the role name by now just type in the role name 750 okay so let's select this it's okay now on top of this you also now need to add the five OData services that you are registered right so to do that click on transaction the small little arrow select authorization default Okay, now here you need to remember one thing, okay, so the old data services
that SAP delivers is comes is for with IWSV component. Okay. When you register any O data service in uh, that that generates a component called IWSG. Okay. Okay. So IWSV components are based usually an O data service component is usually assigned in the uh, backend system. And IWSG component is assigned in the front end system. Okay, front end meaning the Furious system. And IWSV O data service component will be on give you will assign it in the S4 HANA system to give the authorizations to the O data services, the back end authorizations. Okay, so now let's go and active uh, enter the registered O data services, right? Which is IWSG component of this. Uh, o data services. So click on this little arrow, I don't know, pointer on the transaction button. You get this list, and from this list, you need to select authorization default. And from an authorization default, you have to select TADIR. So you get three and you know, two additional boxes now, which is program ID and then the object type. So the object type is in this case is going to be for raw data services for the front end system the object type is going to be uh, IWSG and for the back end system the uh, object type is going to be IWSV. Okay so select IWSG and now you enter your uh, raw data services that you registered right one of the first one let's say uh, let's enter uh, z interop okay interop was one of the o data services that you registered now if you see the interop o data service when you register or activate it is it is named as z the o data service name and then underscore 0001 Okay, so you select this and hit enter key. Okay, now, now go and pick the next O data service that you have, right? The we had something three O data services which had page builder in it, right? So let's select for page builder uh, O data services, and if you see you have the page builder uh, configuration, then you have the page builder for customer uh, client specific and customizing and then you have the page builder for personalization okay so let's select these three and those three are entered the fifth o data service that you registered was for transport okay so search for z transport okay transport port and select that one okay right so you see all the IWSG components are now selected all right. So the administrator role would need the IWSV component of the audit five mandatory audit services, and also the IWSG component of the O register the five mandatory audit services. Now, let's see the final step in this role creation. So if you see, there are five, there are some three, you know, four uh, authorization defaults folder, right? So let's go and merge the entries from the four folders into one. And for that, you go to additional activities and you say compress menu. So all the entries from those four folders are merged into one. Now the last final step that you need to is to go and generate the role 
and then assign it to the user. Okay, and I'm going to maintain all authorizations here and generate the rule. So now your uh, administrator Fury administrator role is ready. With, that is assigned can be assigned to the the administrators now. Okay, so we will after we finish it. There are a couple of more steps. After we finish, we will create the uh, administrator role user ID and the uh, end user role user ID, and then assign the appropriate roles to them. Okay, so after you have created the now that we have created uh, the administrator role, let us now see how to create the uh, end user role.